In this video, we're showing you installation connections for part number 10-202. There is often some confusion on these systems because of the way Suzuki wired a lot of these early GS model bikes, in which one of the AC output wires from the stator, specifically the white wire with the green tracer, ran up through the handlebars and returned to the rec rag as white with a red tracer. These are the connections for a 10-202. The yellow, white with blue, and white with red wires are the AC inputs, Red is DC positive and black is DC negative. If using the heavy duty 10-221H, all three AC inputs will be yellow, and if using a lithium ion friendly 14-202H, the three AC inputs will be yellow and the ground slash DC negative will be green. So if you're connecting in place of the OEM rectifier, you can make the connections as shown here with yellow to yellow, white red to white red, and white blue to white blue. If you're connecting directly to the OEM stator, you can make these connections with white red going to white green, yellow to yellow, and the white blue to the white blue. If connecting directly to a Rick's Motorsport Electric stator, all three AC output lines will be black and can simply be connected to any AC input line on the rectifier regulator. In all cases, connect the red DC positive terminal directly to the mating DC positive terminal from the wire harness, and connect the black wire with the white tracer to a good clean ground. So if connecting to the wire harness in place of the OEM rectifier, your connections will look like this. If you're connecting directly to the OEM stator, they'll look like this. And if connecting directly to a Rick's Motorsport Electric stator, they'll look like this. We hope this has helped you with your Suzuki Rectifier Regulator installation, and thanks for watching.